Service providers, this one is for you. Watch exactly how I juggle multiple clients at once and still manage to hit my deadlines. Let's do it. I'm Kat, welcome to my channel. I'm a biz coach and integrator for creatives, helping you make dreams and dailies happen. And in this episode, we are going to talk specifically to service providers. So if you have a service, if you are juggling multiple clients, maybe wedding clients or other business owners, if you're B2B, then I am speaking to you. So in my own business, I offer coaching, I also host a mastermind, and I'm an integrator. So I have an integration agency, which means that my team is working with multiple visionaries at once, helping bring projects to life. You can kind of think of me and my team as biz coaches on steroids. <laughs> we help initiate the plan. We help um, dream up and lay out the strategy for launches and content marketing plans, but then we also implement. So for example, with some of my client works, we're doing live launches, so webinar launches. We're doing challenge launches for big courses. We're also doing weekly YouTube video content reels, blog posts, back-end um, product creation in Kajabi, so many different things that me and my team are managing. And we can have between eight to 10 clients at once. So I want to show you guys how do I juggle it all? Because there is a trick and it is possible to continue to scale your services, to continue to take more client work, but not feel like you're drowning. So for this episode, we're actually going to flip the screen because I use a free tool it's amazing, called Trello. And Trello is where I keep up with all of my client work. So we are going to flip the screen and I am going to show you guys a BTS look at my own Trello and exactly how I organize it. So let's do it. Hey y'all. Okay. I want to show you a behind the scenes look at how I organize multiple client projects utilizing Trello. If you are not familiar with Trello, or maybe you are, but you want a little bit more of a crash course, we're going to link another video below for you that has more of an overview of how to use Trello. Trello is a free tool. So that's awesome business owners. <laughs> it's completely free and I use Trello for free. So I'm going to show you everything that I'm showing you is on the free plan. They have, you know, some paid business plans, but everything I'm showing you is available on the free plan. So Trello is organized in workspaces and you have boards on your workspaces. Now I have a lot of workspaces over here, as you can see, and I organize my workspaces by topic or theme so that I can keep things together. You can have as many as 10 boards on one workspace. And so you can can see here, this is my client workspace and it's telling me I still have four boards remaining. Um, I have a client archive workspace as well. So that way when we're done working with a client, I can move that client over to that workspace. So that client might still need access to some of the things on their board, but I don't want it to be on my current client board. So that's a way I kind of use those workspaces to help me organize who I'm working with, who I'm not working with. And then you can see some of the other workspaces I have down here. I have a content workspace. My team and I have a main workspace where all of us have our own private boards. You can organize it however your heart desires. So when it comes to client work, I'm first of all going to show you, well, let's start here. Here's the workspace that is my client board. So all of my clients you, I use a Trello board. If my clients aren't familiar with Trello or don't feel comfortable using Trello, then it might be something that's more so my team and I are communicating. However, for the most part, all of my clients have, you know, enjoyed being in on a Trello board and I walk them through with Loom videos so they know what to look for, when, and how to navigate the workspaces. I've created two template boards here, a client launch and a content calendar, because for the most part, as I've been working with clients, these are the two types of boards I need to create. So it just made sense to create a template. And then what I would do, here's a template for a client launch. What I would do here 
is I can copy the board and rename it for whatever that client is and then make this board very specific to that client. So I love having templates. That is a great way to streamline when you are providing a service for your clients, but you're providing a similar service over and over again. Create some templates for yourself to save you work in the long run. So this is our template for a client launch. And then I also have a template for a content calendar because for some of our clients, we're also organizing and strategizing their content calendar and then implementing on the content calendar. Now, how do I keep track of all of the to-dos for my clients and like just stay sane, right? When you're bouncing back and forth between, okay, well, what do I need to do for Hope versus what do I need to do for Natasha and all of those things? I have one board for myself that's called my My Week Trello template. Um, now, that is a free template that I have available for you guys. I'm going to include that link below as well. Um, when you download the My Week board, you have two options. You can use a theme day template or you can use a two week guidebook template. Either one is going to work for what we're going to talk about now. I just provide two templates for you, depending on your personality and your strengths and your business and which one you genuinely would enjoy using most. So grab those free Trello templates below because you're going to need your own board. So let me show you a glimpse at my board and then you can see how I organize keeping up with client work. Like this has the specifics for the client, the workflows, loom videos. Like as you can see, again, looking here, login information, outlines, all sorts of, you know, um, priming content, everything, all of the specifics get into the nitty gritty here on their board. And then I have my own My Week board, and that's what I look at every single day. I don't use a paper planner. I use my My Week Trello board. So I look at this board every single day, and this tells me, okay, what am I working on today? So for example, if it was a Wednesday, I would know, okay, I've planned that I need to work on things for Hope and I need to work on things for Rebecca. I've got some checklists here to remind myself. Here's some like priority things that we're working on. And so then I know I'm going to open up this card. So I'd open up this card and see the checklist. I would come over here and I would open up her board. And then that would allow me to see that as well. So I'm able to keep myself organized with client work by seeing what am I working on throughout the week every single day and then going into even more detail on their specific board. It's been such a lifesaver for me and a way for me to make sure things are streamlined, especially because with the way that my service-based business works, I have a team in on it too. So for those of you with an agency model or you have an assistant assisting you with client projects, you can have your assistant on these boards. So your assistant is seeing the big picture, the moving pieces, those nitty gritty things. And then you've got reminders on your own Trello board through out the week, letting you know, like, hey, today's a day that I need to work on hope stuff because it's due. And I can even give myself a due date for what's happening um, so that I'm initially like continually reminded of what I need to work on and when I need to work on it. It's really, really wonderful. Another way that uh, I find it easier to navigate within these boards on Trello is this little bell right here. This bell will turn red when you have a notification on any of the boards that you are on. When you're tagged on something, when a due date is coming up, anything that you have set to notify you, you will get a little red bell. And then if you click on it, it will allow you to see those notifications. So you can see some of mine right now from some clients here that I'll be going through later. Um, it's not red because I'd already like checked in. I'd already like kind of perused and looked through. But when you first log into Trello, so for me, it's a part of my morning workflow. When I first log in in the morning to start working, I am opening up Slack, I'm opening on my inbox and I'm opening up Trello. It's just a part of that morning rhythm. And I'm able to see what little bells do I have here in Trello. And I'm also able to keep track of what I have happening throughout the week so that I can then jump over here and get 
even more in depth with each of the client projects. And then having these templates allows for onboarding new clients to be even smoother and easier because I know how my team and I like to operate when it comes to the overview of the Trello board. And it allows me to streamline that better. I want to show you two more things as well while we're in here. Why not? Um, for those of you that have launches yourself or do work on launches, I thought I would just show you a little bit more of my client launch board. Um, both of these boards are set up somewhat similarly. However, because it's different content, and different information on the boards, there are going to be some differences. For all of the templates that I create, all of the boards I create for clients, there's always a quick quick grabs list. This is just saves so much time because again, you're streamlining. So if you're working on multiple clients, you always know that first list has your login and has the website information, Google Drive, whatever it is that you need access to quickly. I've also got some to do's for myself. I keep the onboarding to do's on here um, on the template. That way I'm remembering every single client that we're onboarding. What do I need to do? I've also got some to do's that genuine, gener generally I need from my clients right away when they're first onboarded. Um, and then more details that I'll put in here about the launch and then the launch strategy. So from lead in to timeline, to pre-launch, to launch, to post-launch, what are we doing um, to work through the launch process with the client, adding in workflows, adding in due dates, making sure that overall the launch is running smoothly. So this is one of our client template boards. The second one is our content calendar. Um, this is a similar layout to my blog uh, template. If you have my Trello template bundle, then you have access to my blog planner. Um, I use Trello to organize my own content calendar. So for YouTube videos, podcasts, blogging, all of that. So we do that for clients as well. So similarly, it's got a quick grabs list. It's got a video workflow, content workflow here. And then this is where I would add in the work that's being done. So like, for example, I could just copy this and say that this was January 24th. And then I would put the title there. I would move it over to January position one. And then there we go. Now we've got our blog for January 24th. And then you can just continue to copy, like continue to duplicate that card to create that content calendar in an organized fashion. So you can see it, your team can see it, my clients can see it. Um, and then we've also got our checklist with our workflows so that we know when work is getting done since we're all working virtually and we're able to keep each other in the loop on that. And I go over this um, in even more detail in that other Trello video that I mentioned to y'all before. So if you have questions about that, um, let me know, but be sure to watch that other video as well. All right. So this was an overview of how I keep up with multiple client projects and do it all seamlessly and efficiently utilizing Trello, utilizing a client workspace with templates for my client board so that the onboarding process for my clients is so much easier for myself and my team and my clients. Also being able to really customize and get into the weeds with every single client making sure that their boards are specific to their projects, to their launches, to their content, whatever it is that my team and I are focusing on. And then being able to see that for myself on my own My Week board with checklists and due dates for each client. So then I know, hey, on Wednesday, these are the clients I'm focusing on and I'm going to jump to their specific board so that I can really get into the nitty gritty of the client project. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to see more Trello content here on the YouTube channel, please let me know in the comments. I love talking about Trello, so I would love to share even more about how I make this free tool work for me and my business.